all I'm doing, John, is I'm just cutting. Literally, I am. Uh, there's no pre-preparation here. I am taking this exactly as you open the kit. So all I've done, I've cut right to the end. Uh, oh, make sure I don't cut my kit. And you see, so this is the outside and the inside. Yeah. I'm saying the outside and the inside. I like to think of them, John, as being reversible. Right, there's my, there's my front and my back. Now, those of you who will be familiar with the design have probably, uh, you know, watched loads of tutorials and then it's a case of measuring next. Well, none of us like measuring, John. No. Um, you don't have to measure with these because they put all the measurements on for you. So can you see down the side, they've got all these little markings. Yeah. All you're going to do is you're going to fold those two markings so you're joining the two pointed bits together. So can you see if you've got those two pointed bits joined together, I've been joining them and then using our quilting clips to just hold that in place. So I'll show you on the other side. Um, the two pointy bits here, you're just folding them together to join the two points and then all I'm going to do is hold, the, hold it in place and then you see, when you stretch that out, you can come straight in and just give that a bit of an iron. And it just means all of that measuring, all of the thinking is taken care of. So now I can just take these clips out, you see, and it's ironed the seam in exactly the right place. And I'm going to do the same with the next bit again. So you've got the next pointers. And again, I'm just going to fold them together and then give them a little iron. I quite like these kits because I like the idea that um, you know, just someone's done all of the thinking and they've matched up the backing fabric to the front. So you see, there's all my pleats in. Just realised I've got this one slightly off kilter, but I think it'll still it'll still work to give us the idea. And then this one in here folds up from the bottom and yeah. you're going to give that a, that, that a nice iron too. So we're going to leave the bottom open, but we've got all those bits folded. Now I'm just going to do exactly the same with the second panel, John. Right, so Kenny says I've got all that stitched together and all I'm going to do is literally go right around the outside now. Now I like to sew, if I go this way, I'll be sewing over top of the pleats. So where are you, where are you stitching then? I know you can't talk until you're stitching down the sides. I'm eh, where the pleats stitching are. straight down the sides. I am following the line that is on there. Oh, so the seam allowance is all Oh yeah, the seam oh, allowance is drawn on for you. It is all built in for you and I like to just give it a little bit of a, little bit of a back go there. Yeah. And actually, if you're a little bit like me John and you're not quite I'm not like I said I'm not a, a particularly advanced sewist yeah. so I just give myself a little bit of leeway and so if you look I'm stitching just just a tiny little bit off to the side of the line just to allow for anything going wrong because it's one of those projects again if you're a complete beginner and you're just getting into this just make sure I don't catch my elastic here uh, it doesn't doesn't matter if you go slightly in because the measurements don't have to be perfect. Exactly. Can you see? We've got I've gone all the way around the outsides, and then I like to literally just trim off those corners, and then it's as simple as we're done. So this just folds in back inside the other way. You can see there that we've caught into those edges and the whole thing just folds up perfectly. Now, it's up to you where you want to take it from here. Oh, at the weekend I was getting carried away and I was doing a nice bit of top stitching around these. I was doing a bit of stitching around the bottom. I tell you what I do like to do and I'll have to show you this, right? So when I've made them, if I'm doing them for myself, okay, I like to put them on. I'm trying so hard not to knock my earpiece out and also uh, not get lipstick all over it. But I like to put them on and then can you see they're a little bit baggy around here. So what I like to do is just take, like I'll, I'll just shape it in there like that. So you oh, can just customise fitting. Holding. Yeah, you see, oh. fit it to size. And then the same around the other side so you can just get it on. This is a really nice, snug, comfy fit, this one. And you can just again, Clip it round the back if you want. And then once you know where you're doing, oh, look, we've got lipstick all over it already. Um, but once you know where you're clipping it, you can literally come and just sew down an extra little piece. So I can sew down there. And now this is perfectly custom fitted to my face. So that's now custom fitted, perfect to my face. That is going to be just ideal for me. Or the ones that I did for the kids, you can see I did a little bit of top stitching when they've gone to bed. Um, but they are perfectly fitted with the extra pleats. And that is the square style. But bear in mind, you've got the choice of either the square one or the rounded one. Here's what you're going to do. You're going to cut them all out. We're going to take these and just line them up together. 
And again, I like to just hold them in place. Now, I haven't even done my cutting out particularly neat, but it really doesn't matter that much um, because all we're going to do is we're going to kind of follow roughly to the line. If in doubt, come inside the line. So can you see, I'm going to start here and I'm just going to come ever so slightly inside the line. Now, I do like to do a little bit of a back stitch as we go there. Can you see, I've got my sewing machine set on to go nice and slow, John, so that I can of um, I kind of whiz it through and make oh, no, any mistakes. It's best, better to be safe than sorry. Well, it's, ni it's nice for the camera to be able to see what I'm doing as well. And you can see that I'm just going ever so slightly. Uh, you do It's not designed to leave a quarter of an inch uh, seam allowance, but I just leave an extra, extra little bit just so that I um, basically just makes it a little bit more comfortable for me to do the sewing there. And there we go. And then we're going to go back on ourselves a little bit. So you're just sewing them together, first of all, in this part here. So I'm going to do the same with the outer one. I stitched both of them together. And if you look on the overhead, you can see how I've just come ever so slightly in the inside. And then what I'm going to do is just trim off those corners just to make it a little bit easier. Then can you see, we're going to put, uh, we're going to put, um, well, what do you call it, right sides together. So I'm going to line this up right at the top. Now, we've had quite a few comments from people saying, do you need to be a proficient sewer to be able to sew these together? Hopefully, you watching me do this will realise that that is absolutely not the case at all. Right. You don't need to be an expert. You don't need to be proficient in the slightest. Uh, by the way, these are seven inches. So I've got the right sides together. I've cut my elastic to seven inches and I'm just going to sandwich it in between those two pieces of fabric there and put a little clip on if you don't have these clips at home you can just use a you can just use a pin but to be honest uh, uh, this is going to make your life so much easier with the clips i sat and knocked out um seven or eight of these at the weekend just sitting i, I was just sitting an hour at the sewing machine and just having you know not having to follow a pattern not having to read any instructions john having all of them because of the, their fabric panels this is what i like about uh, this company who designed these fabric panels everything's thought through the fronts are ready the backs are ready all you're doing is cutting out and then piecing together and once you've made one it was surprising how easy it was to follow the other sides, and you would assume that the uh, the rounded one, the square one, sorry, would be the easiest. Actually, I found. I mean, I'm going to take this straight and, and start and stitch it already. I found this one was just as easy to sew as what the other one was. I'm going to sew it all the way around, John. Yeah. But I'm also going to leave uh, a couple of inch gaps so that I can turn it all inside out. Right, so once you get it to this stage, I've left a very, very tiny little turning gap here. I'm not quite sure why I've left it quite as tidy, uh, quite as tiny as what it is. But you see, you can pull that elastic through and get the whole thing turned right through. So it becomes uh, just the whole project in one go. Now look at that. So I've done that really quickly and easily. Now, yes, I'm going to have to go and, uh, you know, top stitch around the edge. But for you to see, in principle, how we've made that whole mask. I mean, look, it took seconds. Yeah. So all I'm going to do from here, you see, is just go and top stitch. That's our little opening there. Top stitch all the way around the outside. But even without the top stitching, you can see how that whole mask was a two or three minute project. Yeah, and, and it holds its shape as well, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Brilliant. Yeah.